Okay guys, um, after looking through the support forum, someone asked a question about some behavior about the, uh, the warp drive um, messing up people's orbits or whatever, and Freethinker explained that when you're messing around with exotic matter, you are you're warping stuff, <laughs> you know, uh, warping space, time, um, defying gravity, things like that. Um, so basically you charge up a bunch of exotic matter, and it basically, for lack of a better term, um, it's an it's an anti-gravity device, okay? Um, so here's what he was talking about with uh, the the hovering, and um, uh, you know just just flying up in the air, just by charging your warp drive. So um, as I said, this is a feature, not a bug. This is a result of um, playing with exotic matter. Is is what's going on here? So um, you can do this too. You you can just start charging, and you'll just take off. You know, um, so we're gonna start chargings, and as you can see, we are not using any thrust whatsoever. It's just a really powerful warp drive with, uh, you know, positron reactor there. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's a little wobbly because this is not by any shape, by any means, an ant a um, aerodynamic vessel. Anyway, if you look over here, you see auto hold altitude disabled. Well, if you click that. It's going to enable it, and it's going to try. I think it's going to try. Yeah. Yeah, there it goes. It's trying. And... Yeah, maybe? Well, it's going to hold you right there. It's going to, you know, wind and, you know, aerodynamics aside, if you auto-hold your altitude, uh, until it shuts down from overheating. Probably shouldn't have done that. Uh, if you auto hold your altitude there, it's going to it's going to just keep you there, uh, which is really really neat. Uh, when you're messing around with that stuff, it, it makes your vessel uh, defy gravity and that sort of thing. Um, that's part of the whole warping space in front of you and behind you uh, thing there. Um, so yeah, we better. Yeah, see, it's too hot. I didn't put enough uh, things on here, so we're gonna go ahead and reload before we crash. And I'll show you something else. Uh, so you can, do, you can do that just by starting the charge, it'll just go up in the air, and if you shape your vessel correctly, make it powerful enough and heat dissipation enough, you will get into space with this thing. Uh, you won't be able to use it to achieve orbit, but you can get into space, and then you know, since you've been charging your dr drive the whole time, once you are in space, you activate it and, and zip away. Um, and basically you get off the ground with nothing but electricity. It's actually pretty cool. I had no idea that this was possible until someone asked about it on the forums. Freethinker's like, yeah, you just do that. And I'm like, I gotta try that. So let's, uh, let's go here. And if you just punch in 100, uh, you will get just barely enough. Um, let's see there. Just barely enough to get off the ground. And then if you auto hold your altitude, oh look at that! Um, so yeah, I can imagine that everyone is thinking like, "Wow, I can do all kinds of stuff with something like this." I mean, who can't do all kinds of stuff with an anti gravity device? I mean, come on, this is cool. Um, this is just super duper cool. Uh, so I wanted to show that to you um, just really quick. I'm still gonna you know get on making the. Um, the rest of the videos there. I just wanted to throw this one up super duper fast because it's awesome. But check that out, play around with it, and um, you know, make something cool. Look at that. Anti gravity. Oh, yeah. That's what happens when you balance your vessels really well. Oh, yeah. So just imagine all the cool stuff, all the cool science that can be gathered with a device that doesn't even have an engine. And with clever, um, you know, warp techniques, you know, making sure to turn off and on, you know, the different things. That, um, I did find out uh, you can turn off um, auto rendezvous circularize and uh, it'll, it'll go back to the classic feature of where you have to, like, you know, manage your, your velocities and that sort of thing when you're using the warp drive instead of just auto circularizing for you. So I, I'm glad that's in there because that makes uh, this thing able to, for instance, you know, set up a 
a, uh, an approach to where it'll actually, you know, land on a planet without having to burn any engines and orbit and take off again. And that's <laughs> just really cool. Um, so yeah, check this thing out uh, on your own and um, let me know what you think. Peace.